You know, it's never too early to prepare for the next big thing. And for some, that would be Valentine's Day, which is around the corner. So we're about three weeks and two days away, not to put you into a panic. But procrastination, that is not what you need to do. And I'm speaking to all my fellow men out there. Well, the folks at Cross Creek Country Club in Mount Airy, they have an answer with their annual Valentine's Day dinner. That a lot of men wait till the last minute and don't come up with a great plan and think, oh, no, what am I going to do? You know, well, let us help you. You know, we'll have a great dinner um, a great dinner menu, some really cool desserts. If you're looking for a place to propose, I mean, we've done a lot of renovations here. We have, you know, some really romantic space and some, some great features in place. And we just, we would love to um, be a part of people's stories. Now, if you've spent any time in that area of our state, the Foothills area in Surrey County, you know how beautiful it is. And that really adds a whole new dimension to their location in case you're thinking that this Valentine might be the one and only. But we would like, you know, people to come and see the, the space and what a beautiful backdrop we have. And we've got some outdoor space and an outdoor fireplace and a balcony that just has views forever of the mountains and the golf course. And it's just peaceful and beautiful here. And I think not enough people have been here to visit. And in the last few years, we've done a lot of updating and renovating and it shows. So they're basically promoting this early, trying to get people that if you're a, you know, a procrastinator, now's the time to do it. But it is beautiful up there. And I mean, not even in just that one venue, because if you've ever been to downtown Mount Air, you see the, the uh, foothills and the, and the mountains and the distance Aww. and just lots of vineyards up there. It's a great place for people that want to get married. Um, knowing Engaged. that you have been ha, have been married for for a while does every year does i mean like is the, is the pressure on to get like a good valentine's a good day point. gift you know? i'm i'm forever single so i've never had to even think about valentine's day but <laughs> as someone who's married yeah so it, it's a challenge because how do you make it different right yeah. um but my wife is pretty simple when it comes to that it's funny she's bigger with birthdays Mm. and Christmas. Like those Got are it. probably the two main things. And Valentine's Day, if it's just some flowers and maybe we go get something to eat somewhere, that's good enough. But I do think that over time, you have to figure out ways to make it different, you know? Yeah. Even yeah. if it's a different type of flower, just something. I know, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, you gotta prepare what? It's the 22nd today, so I mean, we're under a weeks. month. Yeah, we're getting very close. But yeah, I feel like, you know, don't always feel like you have to pull out all the stops either. Because right. there are birthdays and other holidays too. Just maybe some chocolates and flowers from a woman. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, and I'll Men tell you, though, what do you guys want? Well, I'll tell you what we do that I love is that we create little handwritten coupons. So this is, mm. you don't have to put the kids down tonight. Love or that. you don't oh, have to take yeah. the trash out there or whatever. And we use those and then you cash them in. That's when great. That's, That's great. cheap That's and easy and it goes a long way. Um, if you're, Hunter, if you're looking to get me a Valentine's yeah. Day, mm -hmm. I love edible arrangements. Oh. Oh. Ooh, that is so a win. Good. Yeah. Okay, I'll write it down. Now we know. <laughs> Shoot. Now <we> know. <laughs> Look what I got myself into. <laughs> <We'll be right laughs> <back. laughs>